enjoyed the creek today, but we had yeah. some rain to cool down. The trouble is we had some uh, lightning with some of that. Yeah, rain and storms this evening and then a cool down next week. So we're talking anything but heat for the next several days, which is going to be really nice. Unseasonably cool air heading our way. Right now it is not too warm outside in Summerton at 77 degrees, 78 right now in Birmingham. So upper 70 is because of rain cooled air. Low 80s right now from our Grand Grandview camera. We are still tracking a few storms with most of the activity is coming to an end, except if you are in Tallapoosa and Coosa counties right now where heavy rainfall is tracking right near the Lake Martin area. So no one needs to be out on the water right now because there is lightning in the area right now over Dadeville. Very heavy downpours just north and west of Eclectic as well. These are tracking towards Eagle Creek and speed in the next several minutes. These storms are pretty stationary right now in Etowah County, not moving a whole lot, just raining themselves out over Steele, Gadsden, Reese City, seeing some downpours around the area. This one portion of the thunderstorm is tracking towards Lay Springs and up to the north and east right now. So storms moving each and every way this evening. Now this is where we have the excessive heat warnings well to our north across much of the nation dealing with very warm temperatures. But notice we're actually cooler than the northeast. That doesn't happen all that often where the deep south is in the upper 70s. But but they're in the low to mid 90s, even upper 90s in Washington, D.C. right now. When you factor in humidity, though, feeling even hotter than that. Now, the temperature trends over the next several days looking really good for us. Our temperatures are going to be below average by the time we get to mid to end of next week. It is not going to feel like the middle of summer for us. It is going to be feeling much cooler, possibly even like spring by the time we wake up on Wednesday as well as Thursday. And that's because we're going to have a pretty potent cold front move through our area. I'm going to show you that on Futurecast. But overnight, we will stay mainly dry, except throughout the day tomorrow. We will be dealing with more scattered showers and thunderstorms. Rain chances will be pretty impressive through Monday as well as Tuesday, as here comes the cold front starting to push through our area into the day on Tuesday. So widespread showers expected not only tomorrow, but on Monday and Tuesday as well, before we gradually start to clear out. And our temperature are going to be pretty cool. We are going to stay out of the 90s for the majority of the week, so a little bit warm through the rest of the weekend. Widespread showers and thunderstorms expected, but then our temperatures are going to be taking a dive towards midweek. We're going to be in the low to mid 80s on Wednesday. Overnight lows are going to be dialing back into the 60s, possibly even the low 60s for some, so it is going to be feeling very nice through much of next week, starting to warm up into next weekend.